welcome back to another Quest Digest, where I cover this week's Oculus Quest news in about five minutes. Okay, all right, it's showtime. There's been a massive update to SideQuest this week, and I'm gonna go over some of the main changes. First, you're gonna see that the home page and browse page are now merged into one universal page, which includes all the different categories as well as the filters and search function. And now when you go into your game or app, you'll find this column here, which shows similar games. And I found it to work reasonably well with the suggested titles being similar to the game I was viewing. Next, if you scroll down, you'll also find a news and events tab, which allows developers and users to submit and manage news and events for the apps on SideQuest. And now there's also the ability to add a video review in the reviews section, whereas before you could just provide a link. Now it shows up with a video thumbnail. You just click show video reviews only and that will filter the video reviews from the written reviews. There is also this early access button. Now you can access the cutting edge early access content from the home page, adding a new category and dedicated early access section to SideQuest. And there are even more categories now you can filter games by, such as meditation, escape, multiplayer, and flying. And if you go to platform, you can filter those web-based VR games by clicking Web XR and Link PC that shows those games that can also be played on PC via link cable. Next, if we go over to the dashboard, we can see there's a new feed and upcoming events that have been personalized to us based on the games we have downloaded in our library. Then we can also edit our profile to include a profile type that best describes us, gamer, developer, streamer, or influencer. So that's a nice little touch. Now SideQuest are so excited about this update, they're running one of their usual competition giveaways and they're giving away three quests. I'm so excited! <laughs> to enter, you need to take part in their announcements channel on Discord. I'll leave the link to that Discord channel in the description below. Now the next is pretty big news, you might have heard of it already, but Oculus are saying that you now need a Facebook profile if you want to continue using the full functionality of your Oculus Quest. Now the official reasoning behind this is that the Facebook account will make it easier to find, connect and play with friends in VR. But a lot of people aren't buying it and feel this is a move that benefits mostly Facebook and not the consumers. And from what I've seen, one of the main concerns for being forced to use a Facebook account is that Facebook have been caught quite a few times now lying about the data they collect, how they use it. And so naturally, there are many people who are concerned about this change. And now off to the official Oculus Quest store and we see that Beat Saber has a new Linkin Park music pack that you can download, which is quite exciting. We've also seen the release of Gravity Lab, which I explored in my last Quest Digest video. It has almost five stars out of 13 ratings currently. This is a puzzle game where you need to use physics and gravity in order to get the balls to where they need to go. We also see the release of Alcove sitting on about four stars out of 27 ratings. This is a place to connect with family and loved ones where you can play casual games, travel the world, explore media together, or just to relax. It's free and it's great to see more titles in VR that try to bring people together like this, particularly in these times of social distancing. Now onto SideQuest and the first game that caught my eye was Return to Castle Wolfenstein Quest. This is a port of the 2001 classic Return to Castle Wolfenstein. It's made by Dr. Beef. It's a first person shooter made by ID Software. It does come with the demo, but in order to play the full game, you will need to buy the full game, but it'll only set you back a few dollars on Steam. Next up, we have Paradiddle, which lets you play drums in VR without the limitations of the real world. You can play 25 realistic and responsive percussion instruments without worrying about making noise or having to buy expensive equipment. Now we have another drumming game called Smash Drums. This is an epic VR drumming game featuring awesome rock music and environment destruction where you have to hit the drums to the beat. Think Guitar Hero, but with drums. We also have Mythic Mage. Now this is another game that I am playing. I will release the video this week. 
It's still in its early stages, but this is a dungeon crawler type game. It has monsters, swords, magic, everything you expect from a dungeon crawler and procedurally generated dungeons. Now, we have another game called Ancient Dungeon just released on SideQuest. If you follow my channel, you'll see I've played this game already. Before it was released on SideQuest, it was available on their Discord channel. Now, this is an absolutely brilliant game. If you want to see more, I'll link my video in the description below. Next we have Pinch Cubes. Now this is a short demo. It puts a bit of a spin on Tetris. You have to draw shapes using different colors to match the shapes in the play area. The cubes in the play area keep raising at a constant pace and when it reaches the outside of the play area, it's game over. Next we have Hyperstacks, a frenetic puzzle action game that also has a level editor to offer potentially unlimited VR gameplay. You get to climb walls, solve puzzles, avoid deadly traps and fight epic bosses. There are also various game modes where you can compete or cooperate with other players. And finally we have UR2 which is a saber game but without the beats. It's a fast paced action VR game that is great for a workout. Well that's just about it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Quest Digest and I'll catch you next time.